Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, today have we got one of you. We've gonna got a number of penny stocks that I think uh, we can be put on our dip buy list. Doesn't mean it's gonna be turned around soon, anytime soon, but and don't expect the same uh, results as we had with Jagex, where it three x in a day, three point five x. But remember, with Jagex, we had to hold it for five days a week. No, Atosa Genetics. No, simply Wall Street is worried about it. I'm not. Uh, Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show. With me, your host Sean. Now, I apologise for the fact that uh, there's been some volume issues lately. Uh, I have taken steps to uh, sort that out. Hopefully, tonight's video will be an improvement. And I hope uh, that things are better. Now, we're going to speak about stock, I think, can 2030x. It has already. Uh, almost doubled since I last spoke about it and it is DSG Global Inc. Uh, I spoke about it when it was in the 30, uh, not when it was 30, that would have been lovely, but when it was 36, 0.36 and it's had 0.6. No. Well, I've had questions. Should we sell? Should we sell? That's up to you. It's doubled. Uh, near enough doubled. What I would usually do is take my initial investment out and let the rest ride. However, I'm going to give you my two cents at the moment. The reason why I'm actually investing more rather than taking my money out is if you go to uh, any platform they consider it a uh, merely a GPS and software company for gold vehicles. I spoke about this before. How, although this is set to grow, this isn't the reason we're investing. And the reason we're investing is uh, a reason no one seems to know. Now remember, we had the same thing with TPI composites. We got in at 30. Uh, it was between 20 and 30 dollars depending when you got in it's now at 50 probably a bit more now because people thought it was just blades for wind farms and we got in before people knew that they make the bodies for workers there's still like lots of people that don't know it now uh, and just a quick note before we carry on for those of you that are signed up using my link thank you very much uh, free trade until the 31st are doing a hamper where you have get entered into a draw of stocks such as Nike, Shopify loads of stocks but uh, you still get your free stock for signing up but to get your free stock and to be entered into the draw, you have to fund your account as well. Otherwise, you don't get anything. <clears throat> now, on with it. The fact is, the real value in this is in a subsidiary of called Imperium. 
PV. Now, they have an SUV, they have buses, scooters, trucks, vans, and this is a great play. And the fact is, they can spin this off if they want to. Now, this looks a bit silly, this little car here, but <clears throat> you've got to realize in the home delivery network, there will be a uh, demand for this, you know, the and in the uh, what was it in the campus network as well, but the fact is one of the biggest things is with Yahoo Finance if we go back and we look at what they're showing now well Is kind of because of his what he's showing as debt on at Yahoo Finance because it's so far behind. You know, it's people think the debt is quite high, but. The, and that is growing because it's gone from 8 million to 12 million yes they have assets that outstrip that but the current assets don't outweigh the current liabilities and that's what people were worried about you've got 10 million of current assets 382,000 that's why Ten million of current liabilities, three hundred and eighty-two thousand of current assets. Now, the thing is, they've paid off all that debt, and the total assets are six hundred and seventy million. Have they paid off all that debt? They've been getting orders in for Imperium, and the thing is. I'll be leaving links to the conference call down below and a couple of other links, so check them out. It's like... Thank you for joining us. Today's call is being recorded and will be available upon request by... This is one. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is one that... It, no, according to finance, no matter... Even though it's outdated, it's only from September. It says no institutions are in. And remember what the old saying to become rich, you need to find stocks before institutions do, before Wall Street does. That's what we did with Tattoo Chef. That's what we've done with a couple of companies. What we've done with Neo. Now, I think that's what we've done with this company. Now, of course. It's gone up, it's doubled in value in a short space of time, so it could always have a pullback, it could come back down. But once people find out the real value is not in its Gulf software, the real value is in its subsidiary Imperium, and that the debt is paid off, it's a debt free company. It's going to be looking very lucrative. And I think this is a company that a lot of people will be putting eyes on and going into. Now, I'm not telling you to go and buy it. I'm not a financial advisor because it's a penny stock, it's highly volatile. 
you can lose everything you own. So do not put in more than you can afford to lose. But I've had a good record with penny stocks. I've had a good record with my stocks this year. And I'm not going to risk my record on bringing you trash. Look, I bought you Fubo TV before the run up. It had a 60 to 80 percent run up, and then when people asked, I said, I'm selling because of FOMO. I didn't do a pump and dump because I've only got 300 subscribers and I love every one of you because you're loyal subscribers. Uh, I don't have the kind of subscriber base as Jeremy or Jack or any of the others. I'm not even monetized. But the fact is the company went up too quick and was going to have a pullback. Now, with this one, there are risks that you hold. But even with this one, if they decide to spin off Imperium, you will get shares in Imperium. And then you can do what you want with this one after. I think it's worth waiting around. I think it's worth... Um, I think it's worth going into it, but I'd also like to know your your opinion. Do you guys own any shares? Are you going to buy any shares? How many shares do you own, or will you buy? And I'll see you in the next video. So for now, stay safe, stay savvy, stay. In